I found the nine remote jobs with the most demand. Yes, these are gonna be jobs that companies absolutely need people for and they're posting for all the time. And these are gonna be jobs that you can often do remotely. So there's a lot of work from home or remote opportunities in these jobs. And a lot of the jobs on these lists are going to be ones that you can get into at the entry level. Some of them are going to require experience as well. And the first one on the list is one of them that does require experience, which is machine learning engineering. And according to Glassdoor, there's about 7,800 machine learning engineer jobs posted. Now, machine learning is what makes AI possible. And everybody knows that with the onset of AI, industries are being disrupted, things are happening incredibly quickly. There is a ton of opportunity when it comes to AI and everything around it. And it's probably going to disrupt just about every industry out there. And so not only is there a ton of opportunity right now for machine learning engineers, but there's going to be even more in the future. And basically, machine learning is the intersection of data science, software, for development and AI. And a cool but kind of creepy quote that I kind of like is machine intelligence is the last invention that humanity will ever need to make. Probably true, but it's also kind of creepy. Now, according to BLS, they sort of group a bunch of careers together. So computer and information research scientists make about $131,000 a year. And it's expected to grow at 21% over the next 10 years, which is excellent. And according to Glassdoor, machine learning engineers make about $133,000 a year. Now, typically machine learning engineers do have at least a master's, but it is possible to get into this without a college degree. You just have to be like a borderline genius. Now, the pros of this one are you get to work on cutting edge technologies and contribute to the development of AI. And there is incredibly high demand and the salaries are also incredible as well. The cons of this one are you have to deal with complex data sets and challenging algorithmic problems. And you're going to have to continuously learn to keep up with the rapid evolution of machine learning techniques. But overall, this one is is very hard to get into. There is a pretty large barrier to entry. But with that being said, it is incredibly good if you are able to get into it. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list, number 8, is going to be relatively similar, but not quite as hard to get into. And that is going to be a data scientist position. And according to Glassdoor, there's about 10,000 jobs listed right now in the United States. And with this one, you basically combine two skills that are both incredibly valuable on their own. And when you combine them together, it's basically like a super skill, and that is going to be statistics and also software development. And there is a ton of opportunity for remote jobs, not only for data scientists, but for just about any data related career. Now, according to BLS, data scientists make about $100,000 a year, and it's expected to grow at 36% over the next 10 years. And according to Glassdoor, data scientists make even more, about $127,000 a year. Now, some of the pros of this one are thrilling opportunities to work with vast and diverse data sets, if that's your thing. There's also very high demand and competitive salaries in the job market. The cons of this one are you have to deal with the challenges of handling complex and unstructured data. You have the need to continuously learn and stay updated on evolving technologies. And this one is relatively difficult to get into. Typically, most people are going to have master's degrees in something like statistics, mathematics, or computer science. But with that being said, it is possible to get into this without getting a master's degree or any degree at all. And you'd probably do that by first getting a data analyst job and then working your way up from there. But overall, really good opportunities here. Data is not going away. It's still going to be incredibly valuable for the next 20 years, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be one that you can get into at the entry level, and there is a ton of opportunity for this one, and that is going to be web developer. And as a web developer, you're going to be responsible for designing, coding, and modifying websites. And in this position, Google and Stack Overflow are basically going to be the Bible of web development. And you can definitely get into it without a college degree or previous experience. And I've seen a ton of people do just that. Now, that being said, it is getting harder to get web development positions. It used to be that you could get into web development basically if you had a pulse. Now you do have to really know your stuff in order to get that first entry level job. But web developers make about $78,000 a year, and it's expected to grow by about 23% over the next 10 years, which is fantastic. And according to Glassdoor, web developers make about $82,000 a year. So some some of the pros here are there is a ton of remote work opportunities. There is also a creative element to web development, and it can lead to even more lucrative careers. Some of the cons are it can be a fast paced and deadline driven environment. There's a constant need to stay up to date with the newest programming frameworks and languages and troubleshooting and getting rid of bugs can be very time consuming and frustrating. But overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. 
Now the next on the list is not an entry level job, but there's a bunch of other jobs you can get into to work your way into this one. And that is going to be a cloud solutions architect. And according to Glassdoor, there's about 11,000 listed jobs for this position. Now, basically anything cloud related is incredibly hot right now. And a lot of people don't know this, but Amazon's number one moneymaker is actually its cloud service, AWS or Amazon Web Services. You probably thought Amazon made all of its money from its physical products, but no, Amazon Amazon's number one moneymaker is actually AWS. And that's how important the cloud is. Cloud is incredibly hot right now and any position related to it is hiring like crazy. And in this position, you would basically be designing and implementing cloud-based solutions for businesses. Now, BLS lists this one as computer network architect and it kind of puts a bunch of different careers into that name. But according to BLS, computer network architects make about $120,000 a year and it's growing at 4%, which is as fast as average. Keep in mind, there's a bunch of other careers that they sort of group in there that are not cloud related. But according to Glassdoor, cloud solution architects make about $189,000 a year. So yeah, tons of opportunity there. Now, some of the pros of this one are it's an exciting emerging technology, and there are a ton of remote work opportunities, which makes sense because you're working on the cloud. Some of the cons here are it's a complex and evolving field, and it also has a high amount of responsibility. Now with this one, it is somewhat difficult to get into. This is definitely not an entry level job. Job. So for that reason, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And if you're wondering what career I would actually recommend to get your foot in the door in the technology industry, if you eventually want to start working with the cloud, that is actually going to be IT help desk. This is an entry level job that you can get into that does not require a college degree or previous experience. And once you get your foot in the door, then you can start getting certified, you know, taking different online classes, etc. Start learning things with AWS and Azure and then you can land your first cloud related job. And my friend Josh actually created a free training where he teaches people all about IT help desk, how much you make and all the questions that you would have about it and how you can get into it. And I'll link that free course down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now there is a free training and then there's an option to upgrade to an interactive experience. And if you want $50 off of that, you can use my coupon code Shane50, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below as well. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have actually used it and some people were able to actually get jobs within 10 days or even 14 days. So it definitely works and it's incredible. The next one on the list is going to be a mobile engineer. So this one has about 12,000 jobs listed on Glassdoor. And this is basically exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be a software engineer, but you're gonna be working specifically with mobile devices. So you're gonna be designing and maintaining applications that work on things like smartphones as well as tablets. And on BLS, this one is just under the umbrella term of software developer and they make about $109,000 a year, and it's expected to grow at 25% over the next 10 years. And according to Glassdoor, mobile engineers make about $71,000 a year. Now, in my experience with the people that I've worked with, mobile engineering is one of the easier types of software development to break into. And a lot of the time, React is going to be the best thing to learn in order to get that first job. And with this one, you don't need to have a college degree, although many people do get computer science degrees, and that can be a great choice for some people out there. And you also don't need to have previous experience, but of course, having previous experience will help. Now, the pros of this one are very flexible and a lot of remote work opportunities, and there is constant learning and growth opportunities in a rapidly evolving industry. Some of the cons of this one are you do have to keep up with the latest trends and updates, and it can be somewhat frustrating having to learn new languages and frameworks every five years, and you have to deal with the intricacies of different types of operating systems such as Apple or Android. But overall, I really like this one. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list, number four, is going to be a social media manager. And this is one that has gotten more and more popular as content has gotten more and more popular. And at this point, it seems like just about every company out there is starting to create content because it is so profitable. And there is 16,000 social media manager jobs listed on Glassdoor. And basically, you're gonna be responsible for developing and implementing strategies to enhance a company's online presence through the use of creating content. Now, this is one one of my favorite careers because you definitely can get into it at the entry level. You do not need to have previous experience and you do not need to have a college degree. There's also a ton of opportunity, but the downside is the pay is a little bit low. Now, again, BLS kind of groups this together with a bunch of other careers, but according to BLS, this one's growing at 10%, which is faster than average. And according to Glassdoor, social media managers make about $57,000 a year. Now, this is one where you have a unique opportunity and a unique advantage if you're young and you understand 
understand social media. A lot of the times companies will actually hire social media managers that are on the younger side and they prefer to hire younger people. And it makes sense because we grew up with social media so we understand it on a deeper level. Now, some of the pros of this one are there are lots of opportunities to work remote. You have a chance to shape an online brand and there is a lot of creative elements to this position. Some of the cons of this one are it requires staying up to date with ever changing social media algorithms and trends. It can be demanding with the need for quick response times and managing online reputation. And there is a lot of pressure to deliver measurable results and meet key performance indicators. But overall, I really like this one. A lot of opportunity. It's actually grown quite a bit in the last few years. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list, number three, is going to be one of my favorites, which is software engineering. This one has 41,000 job listings for open jobs on Glassdoor. And as a software engineer, you're going to be responsible for designing, developing, and maintaining software related applications. And interestingly enough, the unemployment rate for software engineers in 2019 was 1.9%, which is incredibly low. And according to BLS, software engineers get paid about $109,000 a year. There's 1.6 million jobs available, and it's growing at 25%, which is much faster than average. And according to Glassdoor, software engineers make about $107,000 a year. Now, some of the pros of this one are there is an incredibly high demand for software engineers. There's also incredibly high salaries, and there's also a ton of remote work opportunities. Some of the cons of this one are continuous learning and keeping up with evolving technologies can be very challenging. Basically, languages and frameworks change every three to five years, and you kind of have to keep up with that. And there's also complex problem solving and debugging, which may require a lot of patience and persistence. Now, this is one where it used to be very easy to get your first entry level job. 10 years ago, you could basically get a job if you had a pulse. Now it's much harder to get a job. But with that being said, if you actually know your stuff, which you do actually have to know your stuff, this is still one of the absolute best careers out there. And so for that reason, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is probably going to surprise you. And this is one that I mention all the time on the channel. And it's not the most glamorous career. It's probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life. But if you want to get your first remote job and kind of get your foot in the door working remote or working from home, this can be a really good one. And that's going to be data entry clerk. And according to Glassdoor, there is currently 48,000 open data entry clerk jobs. So yeah, not going to spend very much time on this one. Not really going to go over the pros and cons. I think everybody knows what data entry entails. It's not going to be the best one ever. You'll probably be tired of doing the job within a year or two. But with that being said, it's a great way to get your foot in the door and get that first job where you can start working remote. And even if you're just making like 3000 bucks a month, Month, if you're living in another country, for instance, you are going to be living like a king. And that's something that a lot of people are doing where they're making money from the United States and then they're living in a country like the Philippines and they're living like a king. So I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And the next one on the list is going to be relatively similar where it's probably not a job you want to do for the rest of your life. But I would say it's even better than data entry clerk. And that's going to be customer service representative. And this one has 73,000 open jobs available, right? So companies are all always hiring for this job and most of the open jobs are going to be remote. So again, it's another one where you can get that first job, get your foot in the door in some kind of company. It's better if you get into a good industry or work with a good company and then you can kind of just work your way up from there. And I think everybody knows what customer service is, so I'm not going to go into the details there. But according to Glassdoor, customer service representatives make about $39,000 a year. So that's over $3,000 a month. So it fits into that same framework of making money from the United States and then living abroad. So this can be a great option for you if you're in a position where you don't have a college degree, maybe you have a college degree, but it's really bad, you don't have previous experience, and you just want to get a remote job and start making money. And so for that reason, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you didn't see it already, I actually made a video called six work from home jobs that do not require an interview or resume. That's right. These are work from home jobs that do not require you to go through the traditional hiring process which everybody hates. And you can check that out by clicking right here.